will want to learn how to format a paper draft in an efficient and precise approach. Uh, consider that you have completed a study, performed a statistical analysis, and are now prepared to write your article. Uh, you may already be aware that the structure of the original article is made up of the four sections uh, introduction, methods, results, and the discussion. Uh, which section do you think would be the best place to start writing? Uh, introduction? No, I would say the results. But there is a crucial step that will provide the foundation of your entire essay before you begin to draft your results. So what is it? Uh, the study questions. List your study questions, uh, one, two, three, to which the findings of your analysis could provide an answer for. Uh, question one, question two, and question three. Focus the paper's structure uh, around two to four questions that are clinically relevant, uh, precise, and oriented toward your defined outcomes. Again, the framework of all four of the sections of your manuscript are based on these questions. So to avoid getting distracted from your subject, you should uh, frequently remind them. Uh, let me give an example. Uh, imagine comparing the outcomes of two distinct treatment modalities between group A and group B. So what do I have to ask? Uh, consider which types of outcomes, for example, pain alleviation, the limb function, uh, radiological indices. So categorize your questions. In this example, it might go like this. Comparison of uh, first uh, patient symptom relief or the subjective parameters like pain or patient reported disabilities to uh, the patient signs that you obtain based on your physical exam or objectively like the joint range of motion, uh, hand grip strength or phys uh, physician based questionnaires. And third, uh, radiological factors including distinct radiology indices defined for each joint. Uh, we have now clarified our, our questions 1, 2, 3, so let's start writing the manuscript. The first section is the results. Uh, first of all, you need to prepare your tables. Each table would be better to represent the findings uh, for a single research question in the same order they were listed. Then for each research question, there is one paragraph or section under a subheading. Start each of those paragraphs with the primary answer to the question and in the sentences that follow, offer the supportive data or aesthetics, statistics on that question. Uh, writing of the methods is the second part. Uh, you must describe the study population and how the questions were answered in this part. There are multiple subheadings under the main heading of methods. The research setting and ethical issues would be the first subheading, where you include information on the location and time frame of your study as well as your ethical considerations, such as informed consent or Helsinki Declaration Standards. Uh, next is the patient or popula population subheading, uh, detailing the size of the sample size and how you determine it, your enrollment process, the diagnosis criteria if applicable, uh, the inclusion and exclusion criteria, the number of people eliminated, and the reasons why. Uh, study design is the next part. Indicate the study type and outline the story of your research methodology step by step, including how you divided up the participants into groups and the methods used for the intervention or treatment, such as the surgical procedure, uh, the follow-up intervals, and etc. Moving on to the tools section. List the meters you apply to measure and quantify your questions related variables. Uh, let me give an example. You want to compare the level of pain relief experienced by two groups of individuals in question one. Uh, how did you quantify pain then? Scales like the VAS or Likert can be used for this. Therefore, you go on to the details of the measurement tool and your procedure. Uh, the same is applicable for other questionnaires and devices like dynamometers used to measure the uh, hand grip strength, for example. So list your tools as one, two, three, uh, consequently. And finally is the statistical analysis. We explain the statistical tests you employed for each variable analysis along with the name of your applied analytics software and its version. Uh, what was your presumptive significance level, and etc. 
To sum up, your methods must uh, indicate clearly how you answered each of your research questions. We now turn on to the introduction section. Introduction explains why the questions are important and states them clearly. Consider a three-paragraph approach here. The first paragraph is the background, why the topic is important and what is known about it. I want to make a point here. Uh, if I were to ask you what you were going to explain in this paragraph, you might immediately think of the definition of the disease and its symptoms. However, keep in mind that the readers of your essay are typically professionals in the field, not the general population. So, uh, readers know what, for example, your target, target disease definition is and who it affects. So, you don't need to explain that. And there have been uh, many other studies and textbooks already explaining it. The first paragraph should be directly about what is known about what you are investigating. For example, if you are trying to find the association of psychological factors with, for example, the cervical radiculopathy, then talk about what is known about this association rather than the radiculopathy condition itself. Uh, the second paragraph is the rationally. What gaps in knowledge did you hope to fill with your article? What will uh, readers gain that they don't uh, already have? Uh, what uh, controversies uh, did you hope to help settle? Uh, and the third uh, paragraph is the questions. Number and state your specific research questions or purposes in the third paragraph. Uh, and the last part is the discussion. Again, organized around the research questions in the same order. Paragraph 1 is the summary of your main findings. Paragraph 2 is the study limitations. In a study, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, selection bias or how decisions were made in terms of treatments used and how they changed over time, or transfer bias, loss of follow-up, and assessment bias, the lack of validated tools to see how patients are doing besides just surviving, are usually the big ones. Uh, paragraph 3, 4, 5, uh, for each of these three questions, one paragraph of discussions and only one on each uh, research question, in the same order they were listed in the introduction, should be provided. Uh, and the final paragraph is uh, the conclusion that presents a brief summary of the main message, followed by your take-home message. Uh, overall, you probably noticed that I placed a lot of emphasis on the study questions list in each of the four sections. Therefore, in order to begin accurately drafting your paper, that is the most important step to do. Thank you for your attention.